Hello my friends, Samuel is here to play a demo of Summer House. Um, this demo was made available as part of the Steam Next Fest, which ends uh, on February 12th, 2024 at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So if you see this video in time, you might be able to try the demo yourself. Some games do extend demos past their Steam Next Fest end date, so um, there's no hard and fast rule, but there's also no guarantee <laughs> that the demo will still be available after then. Summer House is a City Skylines adjacent game, um, but focused much more on the smaller scale. A little bit similar to Minami Lane, which I also played as part of uh, this um, Next Fest. But I think this one is less goal oriented and more sandbox oriented. Um, so if you did watch, okay, so WASD lets you move around and then uh, Squirrel Wheel lets you zoom in and out. Right click lets you change through different types of items, it looks like. Wow, there's certainly a lot of things that you can choose. But yeah, if you watched my Manami Lane um, playthrough of the demo, you will have heard me say that I am the type of person who always thinks that they want to play a City Skylines type game. And this is yet another example of that. <laughs> Um, this also kind of builds into my, um, I don't know, inability <laughs> to really make the most of these sandbox type games. But I, I wanted to play Summer House anyway, just because the graphics were really beautiful and I wanted to take a look at that, um, even if this might not be a game I might enjoy. So uh, as expected, Mouse One lets you place down what you have and we're going to build right on top of the water here, which doesn't seem like the wisest plan, but you know what? We'll go with it. So then you'll use mouse one to also click through these different options for roofs. And if you are a person who enjoys sandbox type games, um, I would highly recommend checking out the... Are these windows? I would highly recommend checking out the trailer that's out for, I keep trying to use scroll wheel to scroll through the options, I don't know why. Um, that's on the Steam page. You might be able to find it on YouTube as well. I haven't looked, but uh, yeah, give it a check out. This is not gonna be perfectly <laughs> centered. We'll add some balconies without anything to back it up. <laughs> Because I think the trailer itself was very touching um, and pretty nostalgic. I enjoyed it a lot personally. Can I rotate the camera? I'm not sure if I can. Settings. Uh, camera speed, zoom. Oh, okay, you can make the camera draggable if you want. I might do that just so I don't have to use the keyboard at all. Um, I don't know how that's going to impact how I place down things or not, but there's replay speed, music, gameplay sounds, ambience, language, there's uh, German and Spanish you can choose as well. Okay, so I don't think you can rotate, but that probably makes sense um, with how it is. I'm just I'm curious about how it knows whether something is... Oh, goodness, okay. Well, <laughs> if you're... Looking to click and drag, just know the speed is a little bit too fast. <laughs> but it doesn't it doesn't seem like it accidentally places anything. Um, so I'm trying to fill in my I guess I'll just use this, but I was trying to fill in my house a little bit. We'll do that and then <laughs> let's put a roof. I try to use the scroll wheel again. Um and make a little house. I do like that it lets you pretty freely overlap um, a lot of things. Is this a door or a window? Are these all doors? Okay. Let's see our other options though. Ooh, what's a interesting one? Oh, there's like a little shop front. I like this door. 
but I already put an arch down. <laughs> should probably do a rounded door, huh? But I don't have to. I don't know if that even counts as a door. All right, we'll put a we'll put another door within a door. <laughs> and then these are windows. Oh, good. It has like a little balcony one. That's that's what I wanted to do. And then of course I didn't center that, so that look horrible. Um one bad thing about using a uh, right mouse button to scroll through options is that if I scroll too quickly through an option and realize too late that I liked it, you can't go back. You have to keep scrolling again because obviously the other option, ooh, this is a fun little window option, the other option is to use mouse one, which you obviously can't because that is to place items. I don't know what this is. Is this to shuffle? I'm a little worried about clicking it. Um. We'll do this window. Let's put everything down first. Is this air conditioning? More air conditioning. Ooh, we got some lights. Can make a pretty cute shop ambiance. Um, I will. Oh, well, these little awnings. I will say. Oh, what an actual balcony. I will say, as someone who's also played The Sims, um, I always skipped past the, the building part of the houses. Uh, ooh, clotheslines. This is nice. Um, so I have every reason to not play this game. I feel like I've spent pretty much the whole video talking about how I wouldn't normally play this type of game. And it's true, and yet I still want it to, <laughs> against all odds, you know? We'll, we'll put a little railing on the top just to make it a little safer. Uh, I don't want to double up too much. Oh, there's breeze in there. I don't know, it's just, it's really pretty. So like, <laughs> even though I knew it wouldn't really be a game I would normally play and probably isn't really a game I would enjoy that much. I still wanted to play it because just look how beautiful it is in the background. What is this? It just says elf. Okay, so there's some street art graffiti options. So oh, there's hotel, there's lights, very thoughtful. Uh, maybe a poster, I can't tell. Maybe another poster, I also can't tell. Satellite dish. Um, sure, we'll make sure that people have signal. I got a little bulletin board. Another one. Cafe! Hot fashion boutique. <laughs> Restaurant. Wow, there's a lot of options here. Bending machine. What is this? I can't tell what this is. <laughs> oh, we're back to one. Um, so just because there are so many options, it would probably be nice if there were a way to scroll through more of the options in an easier fashion rather than going one by one. Is this like a like a spooky? Ooh, there's reflections too. Like a spooky bramble for Halloweenish vibes. Yeah, I really like how flexible it is. You can clip through the ground as much as you want for a lot of these things. Okay, we're cycling. And then a ramp. Is this just like random anything? This could be fun. This could be like a fun challenge of like having to use the randomizer and then make a mishmash town out of that mishmash neighborhood. <laughs> I'll give the bulletin a little a little awning. Oh, okay. Here, uh, if you click the magnifying glass, you can scroll through and see 
everything at once. This is kind of what I was imagining, but more probably one for each of the categories. Oh, this is a really pretty window. Yeah, and there's no scroll bar, so it is a little laborious to <laughs> scroll through everything here. So if I had a recommendation, it would be having this type of view or having some sort of filtering option on this view so that you can get to each of the categories that are already on the side. And then also that and or adding a way to scroll more quickly through this rather than having to use a scroll wheel. I guess you can click and drag, but I didn't realize that. Um, eyedropper. Is it so that like if you want another satellite dish? Okay, nice. You can quickly grab it and place it. Um, I'm going to click whatever this is. Does that make it symmetrical if you place one down? I'm going to put like a like a tree or something. It'd be nice to have more like flower options as well for decoration. All right, I didn't want this bush, but I want the other one. But yeah, if I put this down like here. Okay. Um, it didn't do what I expected. <laughs> uh, I understand it's probably going for like a minimalist look that is also very tablet friendly, um, but a hover option to see what something is would be very helpful because I don't know what this does. Um, and I expected it to be like a symmetry tool, but I guess that's because I'm used to um, that kind of function since I draw using digital software. And then I assume this is like, yeah, if you want to get rid of something, I do like that it highlights what you're getting rid of. Um, it doesn't look like you can get rid of stuff in the background though. So this has to be here. You can't bulldoze any of this. Uh, what other options do we have? I assume this is like undo and redo. Here, let me get rid of that and then undo. Okay, well that didn't undo my delete and neither did the redo. So <laughs> uh, maybe it doesn't work for if you're trying to delete something. Um, am I just gonna stay on delete forever? Okay. Well, if you want to get, exit the delete, you have to click one of the sidebar options. So let me put a tree down and then see if I can like undo that. Okay, so the undo and redo um, does work if you're placing down an object, but it doesn't work if you uh, deleted something. Oh, uh, something disappeared here. <laughs> I didn't notice when that happened, uh, maybe. Some of y'all who were paying more attention watching the video did. Um, maybe it was part of when I was doing the undo redo, but I don't think I, or maybe when I was like deleting stuff. Uh, yeah. Clicking and dragging. But I didn't delete anything, so. Um, but yeah, you can make a, your whole little city here with this. Um, as I expected, <laughs> it's not really a game for me, but I, I still wanted to play the demo because I really enjoyed the visuals and the idea it was going for. So I know it's a real surprise Pikachu moment, right? It's like something that I thought I wouldn't really like. Um, I probably won't buy, but I wanted to try it anyway. <laughs> Looks like it has like a little it's a mustache house. Um, okay, yeah, I think the, the hamburger menu in the top really does indicate that it's probably um, meant for mobile and tablet optimization. But yeah, just look at how beautiful this scenery is. Like even as someone who probably won't play this game again, <laughs> I'm really glad I still play the demo because look at how beautiful the background is. I love how the reflections work and like if you are a person who really loves this type of game where you build your own village or can make your own little dream house um, I think this is a really good game for those folks but yeah some I did have some suggestions um, such as if anyone knows what this does oh we haven't clicked this button yet okay so you can see your little build yeah I didn't really explain where my wall disappeared to 
Um, but I think this, there's a lot of uh, relaxing and pleasant functionality here. Um, it's just not a game for me, and that's okay. Not every game has to be. I'm only one person in the world, and I'm sure there's plenty of people who would like this type of game. But um, yeah, if if the developer is still working on this, I would love some flower options. Even though, again, I'm not really a person who would be playing this again, or maybe like some birds or something. But yeah, all the visuals are really beautiful. I love the wind physics. The reflection's beautiful. The background's beautiful. I love the color, color palette. Um, there are a lot of uh, nice architecture ideas. Um, but yeah, if anyone could explain to me what this button does here in the in the bottom right, um, that would be appreciated. And then uh, also, I'm, I'm assuming this is like to save your house or something. Um, also, if there were a way to more efficiently find and scroll through your options without having to do them all at once through this one single menu. Uh, that would be pretty great as well. But this has been Summerless playing the demo of Summer House. If you're interested in this game, you can check it out on Steam. It is um, going to be doing its full release in March of 2024, so quite soon. And then let's click this arrow and see what happens. Thanks for playing! <laughs> Thanks for playing this demo. I hope you had a good time. There will be lots more to explore in the main game. Please make sure to wishlist Summer House on Steam. It really helps solo indie developers like me. Okay, I thought this was to like save and share your house, but that wasn't quite it. It was just like a like a blurb or something. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you had a good time and that you have a good day. Remember to be kind to yourself and to others. Goodbye!